Welcome back, Woodlovers. It's Tommy Stonewoods. In today's video, we are going to be looking at one of my favourite domestic timbers. That's right, it's London Plain. Or, if you live in the US, it's American Sycamore. This is uh, absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, no doubt, if you've walked about in towns and cities in the Western Hemisphere, you'll have seen plain or sycamore trees along roads. They're absolutely everywhere. They are giant trees when mature, up to 40 meters tall, two meters across, and they're characterized by their beautiful kind of mottled camouflage-like bark in kind of greens and greys and browns. They have maple-like leaves. Um, the, the, the naming convention of this timber is, is somewhat confusing. Um, sometimes the a common name for it is lacewood, but it is not to be confused with South American lacewood. Totally different genus. That is the Panopsis genus. It's not the same stuff. It looks very, very similar. Um, it is not to be confused with English sycamore. English sycamore is Acer pseudoplatinus. Pseudoplatinus, like a plane tree, it is not the same stuff. Um, American sycamore uh, is Platinus occidentalis. Again, it's slightly uh, misleading um, when it was originally discovered in its natural uh, range, in its natural habitat, I guess. It's in the eastern um, of the United States, but at that time, the, when this was first discovered and first named, the other named species or other known species was Platinus uh, orientalis, eastern uh, plain, eastern sycamore. So occidentalis, western, it refers to the western hemisphere, not the western uh, portion of the United States. In England and Europe, we refer to it as London plain. Um, it is a hybrid of western plain or western sycamore and eastern sycamore so uh, it was i think it was originally named and uh, discovered um, in the 17th uh, century um, it was discovered in i believe there's some conflicts about this but i believe in Vauxhall gardens in london some people say that it was dis it was discovered and hybridized in spain you'll sometimes see this as platinus um, hybrid sorry platinus um, hispanica but I, I know this as, as London Plain, and we call it uh, Platinus Hybrida. One of the most striking characteristics about all of these uh, three samples that I'm gonna show you is the, the medullary ray fleck. This kind of QR code, beautiful flecking that you see kind of across the grain. This is um, a cellular structure um, that is present in the tree. It, it is vital for transporting uh, nutrients um, throughout the tree radially out from the center. Medullary ray, ray flex, radial. This is um, most apparent on quarter sawn uh, faces. When you look at the end of a log, you will see the flex emanating radially from the center of the tree. When you split a log, chances are you're gonna be splitting it down um, one of the medullary, along uh, the medullary ray flex, and quite often when a log dries out, it's gonna split along the medullary um, cellular structure. So yeah, it is um, plain or sycamore, really, really highlights this, um, this cellular structure. Um, and and uh, yeah, really, really gorgeous stuff. And in these, like I say, in, the, in these examples, uh, which are all beautifully quarter sawn, it really highlights um, that ray fleck. Absolutely beautifully. All right, so these three sets that I have here, we have the, the London Plain, the Platinus uh, Hybrida. This set I got from Phil Conway. If you've watched the channel before, you'll have seen that I buy a lot of timber from him and have done over the years, so shout out to Phil. Um, these two sets, um, these were sent to me by my very dear friend, Aaron Lucas, over in South Carolina. He is uh, he's my wood guru and uh, he always sends me beautiful stuff and is just brimmed with, with knowledge. So we have two um, examples here. 
or rather before I move on to those two, this one from Phil, this actually came from Kensington High Street, which is very, very cool. These two are um, both American Sycamore, Platinus Occidentalis. This one um, is, is just your kind of straightforward um, plane. This is a really interesting set. This is some Cinca Sycamore. So Cinca, you'll hear that term a lot, um, in, especially in Tonewood, you know, Cinca Redwood, Cinca Cypress, Cinca Sitka. And I often hear a lot of confusion as to, to what that means. And it really is quite literal in that um, the, the timber has been salvaged or recovered from beneath a body of water. It has sunk to the bottom. Oftentimes that'll be at the bottom of a river. Traditionally, sawmills were built on navigable rivers and timber in log form would be rafted down, down river. Sometimes you would get what we call a log jam, you know, maybe the, the river would narrow, um, a log would snag and be pushed to the bottom of a river and would be covered with sediment um, to be later rediscovered and salvaged. Or alternatively, traditionally, uh, timber mills would have log ponds, right? So these would be naturally occurring or man-made uh, reservoirs or ponds beside the mill. And storing the logs in water stopped them drying out too quickly. It also helped to clean the logs before they went through the, uh, the mill. And it would also help to prevent um, insect infestation as well. Also, a wet log is much easier to saw than a dry log. So it was always preferable to, to keep um, logs wet and in log ponds. But what would oftentimes happen is that as in the rivers, the logs would sometimes become submerged and um, would stay buried uh, underwater for, for many years. This sinker um, sycamore, if the camera will pick that up, this came from a log pond of a mill that was closed in the 1700s. So it was underwater for at least 300 years. And you'll notice that the, um, the sinker is ever so slightly darker. And although I'm not 100% sure as to, the, to the, the reason for this, it could be um, as a result of uh, moisture saturation and uptake of minerals that have reacted with things like tannins in the wood and kind of darkened it over time. If you'd have seen my video on uh, the ancient bald cypress, that is a really clear example of how moisture uptake and, and mineral uptake can really affect the color of timber. But in this case, um, with, the, uh, with the color change being a little bit more subtle, I would imagine that this color differentiation is more to do with the growing conditions of the timber at the time when this um, was growing. So a little bit of technical data for you um, to give you a sense of what this wood actually feels like. Um, the book data and the data I've been able to find on the internet is a little bit conflicting. Some say that the Janka hardness is around about 770 pounds force, but it can go all the way up to sort of 900. So into that kind of maple region, uh, your kind of walnut territory. Um, the modulus of elasticity, which is a measure of how stiff the, the timber is, is um, comes out at around about 9.79 gigapascals, um, which is very, very similar to English sycamore, Acer Suda Platinus. So, you know, not super hard, not super dense, but, you know, nice and, nice and stiff. So I actually measured the densities of these, um, these three examples. And again, the densities kind of conflict a little bit with the, the kind of book uh, average dried weight or average dried density figures that I've been able to find online. Um, and my measurements have actually been significantly more dense. So interestingly, the London plane, so the, the European plane, the um, Platinus hybrida came in at uh, 640 kilograms uh, per, meter per meters cubed. The um, non-sinker American sycamore 
from Aaron came in at 676, so it is slightly more dense than the London plane. And really interestingly, the sinker or the salvaged um, sycamore came in at 719 kilograms per cubic meter. So significantly more dense than the London plane. And, you know, perhaps that's a reflection or reflected in the, the color differences. You know, the, the London plane is a lot paler um, than the, the American sycamore, as you can see there. So we have built with London plane before. You might want to go and check out a video um, of the guitar Minty that we did, I think last year, had a redwood top and it was a really beautiful sounding instrument. Kind of had a maple-like quality to it, I think. Um, also quite similar to a guitar that we built called Blanca, um, maybe like three years ago now, that had an English, an English Sycamore um, back and side set. But I'm gonna give you um, a little listen to each one of these sets. Hopefully you're gonna be able to pick it up on my little lav mic here. And uh, I'm gonna hold it in a couple of places to isolate um, the cross bending mode of vibration and also the long bending mode of vibration. So it'll give you a different frequency response and hopefully you can get a sense of what plain stroke sycamore sounds like. It's a London plane. It's actually got a surprising uh, ring to it. Um, when, you, when you handle this wood, you kind of think, ah, oh, it feels pretty fibrous. Um, you know, it's not, it, it doesn't necessarily present as a wood that's gonna have a great kind of tap tone to it, but. It's very kind of characteristic of something like maple, English sycamore, walnut, something like that, ash maybe. And this lastly is the sinker. So there you go. That's surprising, right? I really like that. This, when I first saw this set, um, this sinker set, I was like, Aaron, you gotta send me some of that because it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, let's, let's keep the best till last. Let's give this a little blast with the magic spray or the magic juice. And uh, let's hopefully not set this place on fire. Wow, look. Look at that. Look at that ray fleck. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely love plain timber, sycamore. Plain it is not. Look at that. This is the, this is the London plain from Phil Conway. I think he's still got some more of this. Check out Minty on the website. Also check out one of Rosie at Turnstone Guitar's latest instrument she built with a London plane. And it is absolutely magnificent. The, the, the figure on that was just out of this world. So there we have it. I think that's everything I have to tell you about American Sycamore, London plane, Platinus, Hybrida, Platinus, Occidentalis, Really hope you've enjoyed this video. There's a lot of information in it. Hit me up in the comments if you've built with this timber, if you have any anything made from this timber, or if you have anything to add, we'd love to hear from you. And let us know in the comments as well, some of the timbers that we haven't already featured um, that you would like us to take a look at. We've got a load of new material coming in, so I'm excited to share that with you. So until next time, take it easy.